Let's see if we can make this work, if we can make the Air 3S actually track another drone. Because we have the three times uh, magnification, I have a little idea that this might be possible. But let's just try it out and see what is possible. I think that's a better location for this. At least the camera will stay. So let's start by firing up the drone here. Everything is... So, did we put that one out here somewhere? Can we zoom in for factor three here? Do a little bit of recording here as well. Let's just put the remote over here for a sec. Now then I have Ta -da! and Ta -da! <laughs> So this is it's almost bound to go wrong. So see if it can actually see it. Yeah, 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 looky, 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 looky. So, <laughs> let's make some crazy experiments here. Yeah, it can actually see it. So what happens if I fly it this way? No? Did not see it. See if we can go away. So? Does it follow it? Yeah! Oh! Okay, I need to do this very, very slowly. So, woo. And not touch the other one here. So. <laughs> Don't touch the sticks! Don't touch the sticks! So, so now I mark it. I need to, and maybe, maybe actually, I should move it out here so there's not so so many distractions in the background. Ooh. Then we turn around this one. So. It makes it a lot easier for the drone actually to recognize what's going on here. Maybe we should make it a little bit smaller here. Oh. Well. It recognizes it as a car. <laughs> so let's move it a little bit over here. See? Yeah, yeah. What? No. So let's just pull it a little bit down here and a little bit further forward. So, it has a hard time focusing on this. So maybe. Put it like this. Yeah. Put the camera here a little bit. So you can see what it is that I'm doing. So now I track it. Let's just do like a unable to yeah ah damn it. <laughs> what about spotlight? Yeah. Don't worry, this can only go wrong. I'm a professional. <laughs> so I don't think I can make a track. At least it will it work to some extent. So I'll just put it in this direction here. 
Maybe you put a little bit further back here. So. And then we fly this. So. Now it can see it. Oh, now it actually detected it. See? So if I do go up, it does actually follow. What happens if I fly a little bit? This? No! <laughs> So, it seems it will not be able to track the drone as it is. It does some sort of a limited tracking here. It does that. So, see if I move it a little bit up, I can make the spotlight mode somehow work, but it's very limited functionality. So, okay, so at least we got that one settled. <laughs> <laughs> so let's conclude this experiment. Oh. <laughs> So, it seems even if I'm using uh, the three times magnification, it will not. It had a hard time focusing on a small object like this. And uh, also, once it got locked onto it, it seemed like uh, it refused to track it because it couldn't recognize the shape of, uh, of this uh, object. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At least that was a fun experiment. It's not very useful for anyone other than uh, I was just curious yesterday when I tried the three times magnification. I thought, yeah, maybe I can make it do something uh, when I get up close by. So in case you're wondering what these goggles are, those are the goggles N3, which is a budget-friendly version of uh, the FPV glasses that will allow you to operate the Neo together with the, the motion controller, so you have like a really submersive experience when you're flying around. These are still pretty good compared to the Goggles 3, and I think a lot of you would actually, if you're just trying to get your feet wet, would benefit from having access to those or buying those. Very nice, very, very nice kit, I would say. So in case you find those interesting, there is of course purchase links in the description below for both the drone, goggles, new and everything that I've been using here in this video. But as most of it has been sent to me as review samples from DJI, I encourage you to search information from other sources to make an educated decision. But if you want to support me and the channel, then uh, use the links that I've provided in the description below because you would pay the same and it would mean the world to me. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.